Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today's topic is going to be about memorization. I know that this kind of topic really annoys a lot of students and a lot of students don't know how to memorize or just kind of absolutely hate it. So today I'm going to be talking about the tips that I kind of gathered around memorization and how to help yourself memorize better and to retain information for longer and also be able to retrieve it later. Well, I put together some of the tips that I actually use in my everyday life when I'm trying to memorize, but first I need to address the main issue about memorization. We have a lot of trouble with memorization because oftentimes we try to memorize when it's the first time exposure to the information. So it's highly unlikely that you'll be able to memorize it at the first exposure. So what I mean by that is that if we have a chapter that is full of many terms and medical terms, for example, that we're trying to memorize, if it is our first time trying to memorize it, it's the first time for us to ever know about this information, it is highly unlikely that we'll be able to fully retain the information. So that brings me to the first tip, which is repetition. Repetition is everything, especially when it comes to memorization. It's everything when it comes to studying in general, but when it comes to memorization, repetition really shows the best results. So exposing yourself to the information multiple times really drives up your chances of being able to memorize it and to retrieve it later when you are in the exam. And that holds true to really any information out there. If you expose yourself to it long enough and frequently enough, then soon enough you're going to be able to really keep it in your brain and to memorize it. I feel like it goes without saying that the more you repeat something, the more it sticks in your brain. So try it out and see if that works. So as I said, if you keep repeating something over and over again, like a medical term for example, sooner or later you're going to be able to memorize it. But memorizing it is just the beginning because you can just completely forget about it maybe two days after you studied it and that's pushing it because if you don't understand something it's not going to stick around in your brain for long and that's just because our brains tend to contextualize things so if you don't give it a narrative if you don't give it a story sort of a context around the term your brain can keep the term it's not impossible to memorize something that you don't understand but it's only going to be there for so long and then it will completely vanish and you don't want that especially if you're studying for something important and you care about the information and you want to keep it for long then try to contextualize it so if you're studying from a textbook try to understand the concept and the things around the term it's very unlikely that there's a term completely detached from other other information in the textbook so if you catch yourself memorizing something without really understanding what it means or just memorizing it without any story behind it or any context then you're just doing something wrong if there is just no context try to come up with a story or a context yourself and that will be very easy for you to memorize for example a lot of students try to come up with stories around the term and connected to real life everyday things that they use come up with a story that doesn't make any sense to anyone else if all else fails then you're left with just becoming creative to be able to memorize that's the last resort really next step is to study similar information by comparison for example you're studying two pharmacological classes medications under them structurally similar the mechanisms of action are similar it's very likely that you will be mixing them up you'll confuse one for the other so, so the best thing you can do is to bring out both chapters and study them side by side and study one at a time and then the other and then compare the two and see the key differences and just know the key differences between the two so picking up on differences between similar things can help you memorize information better after you study an entire chapter for example or just a chunk of it bring out a piece of paper and then try to scribble that chapter from your brain from your memory without looking at it um, if you do like one chapter of a story for example if you're studying literature if you're studying pharmacy you finished one class of medications for example in pharmacology try to draw it out like scribble it you don't have to be perfect about it but just try to retrieve it from your brain without looking at the chapter and uh, write it down on a piece of paper and just go like pharmacological classes that I studied like beta blockers this this and that and then they had this in their structure that in their mechanism of action and then I studied also calcium channel blockers their mechanism of action was that and scribble their structure or whatever and after you're finished look at the source that you were studying from and then compare your scribble to that chapter and what you wrote down to the chapter so if you found that you forgot about something the next step is to just go over the whole chapter and highlight what you forgot and then the next time you're studying you're going to focus more on those points in those areas that slipped through the cracks and you weren't able to memorize in the first time. So you can do that or you can just bring out a piece of paper and write down the things that you forgot about every aspect. Like if you went through an entire chapter and those are the things that you forgot, write them down in like flashcards or write them down in a notebook and just keep looking at them before bed maybe and that will help consolidate this information in your brain better. But I highly recommend the highlighter thing because that's what I do 
first of all and i do that because before my final or my exam i would only just flip through the chapter without really paying a lot of attention especially if i don't have a lot of time which usually ends up happening so because i don't have enough time to just kind of uh, completely do an all-rounded uh, study session what i do is that i flip through my chapter and anything that is highlighted i would take time to stop at it and like kind of memorize it better and look at it better that will help fill in any gaps in my memory and consolidate that information that i previously forgot about when i was studying the chapter the first time the last tip is to practice so after you memorize something if you don't put it to practice it will highly likely not really stand the test of time so i highly recommend that after you study something or a chapter just do any practice questions just recite what you studied if you don't like to write down you can write down what you studied also i'm someone who prefers to maybe recite scribble or do practice questions just try to do that any of those techniques will help put what you studied into practice and make them more likely to stick for longer so those were all the tips that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like so that I know that you guys kind of like this video and I can make more videos like this. I actually have a lot more study tips videos that you can find in a playlist that I'm going to put at the end of the video or you can find under this video in the description or in the comments. I will put that somewhere and you can just go to my channel and search for those videos. I have a lot of study tips videos that can help you guys a lot. So make sure that you do that and um, that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one.